Hello, it's week 23 of the Season 7 of the Andy Griffith Show. This week's episode title is The Statue. How art is leading a needing of the Nadari Civic and Prudnik Kennedy in the courthouse. He wants to discuss what to do with the $1,200 that they have in their account. Clara wants to put up flower boxes on the railings of the bridge leading into town. And Andy wants to get more property zoned for business usage. But Howard wants to turn up the statue of Nadari's greatest benefactor. He and Clara and Goulder think that that should be Seth Taylor, Andy's great-great-grandfather. And Andy and Aunt Dee are honored. But Floyd thinks it should be his ancestor, Daniel Lawson, Mayberry's first Indian agent. He started a trading post which grew into the town. But the others say that Seth Taylor did more to make Nader what it is today. And Howard says majority rules, so it's decided that the statue will be a Seth Taylor. And Floyd is not happy about that. But Howard's already got a sculptor in mind, and he appoints Aunt D, head of the artistic committee, to work with the sculptor since she has pictures of Seth. And they're even going to overlook the fact that the five foot seven piece of granite that the sculptor has to work with is really too short for Seth Taylor. Even though Floyd says Daniel Lawson was short and the granite wouldn't be too short to make him. So Aunt B and Clara head down to Brian Jackson's place. He's the stonemason and the uh, sculptor to show him a picture of Seth Taylor and to discuss what pose he's going to have in the uh, in the statue. And he says it'll be his first life-size statue, and he says it'll turn out fine. And later, Aunt B starts to write the dedication on the typewriter in the courthouse. And she tells Andy the statue is due to be ready tomorrow. And Andy goes outside and sits on the bench with Floyd. Floyd is still unhappy about who they chose for the statue. And Andy tells him the Kanini is planning to go out to see the statue tomorrow. And Floyd says he's not going. And next day, everyone except Floyd goes to see it, and they say it looks great, including Cyrus Tankersley, the head of the Chamber of Commerce. So then everyone leaves to go to the town square, where the statue will be delivered in 15 minutes. Everyone except Andy and Aunt D. Who wants some time alone with it? Then a guy named Mr. Simmons comes in the stonemason shop to say he has proof that uh, Seth Taylor and Mr. Simmons' ancestor, whose name is Winston Simmons, were friends at the time, but they were also big swindlers. And he says they're turning up the statue to one of the biggest swindlers of the 19th century. And he goes home with Andy, and he shows him documentation that they told everyone the railroad was going to come through Nadari so they could sell land at inflated prices. But then they got the railroad changed to not pilot after they had bought cheap land there. And Mr. Sennon says this can just stay between the three of us, but I thought you'd like to know. And then he leans, and Andy says, we should at least tell Howard, since he's head of the Kanini. Meanwhile, Floyd is sitting on a bench, looking at the statue, which has just been delivered to the town square, and it's still covered up with a veil. And Goober comes up to him. And Goober says it'll look good. And Floyd says he's not the least bit interested in it. And then Andy and Aunt Dee come up. And Floyd says, you've got the wrong man up there. And Goober says, don't mind him. We learned in school... Ain't never been a better man than Seth Taylor. And later, Aunt Dee and Floyd hear from Clara and Howard that they're planning an annual Seth Taylor day. So Aunt Dee takes Andy into the courthouse, and she says we're not even going to tell Howard. We're just going to keep it a total secret for the good of the town. It's the only thing we can do. We're going to go through with the unveiling. But at the ceremony, Aunt Dee starts stumbling from the speech that she had prepared. She says she can't go uh, through with it. And so Andy tells the crowd that his aunt won't be able to continue the speech, and he asks the committee to meet him in the courthouse. And once they're all in there, he tells them all the truth. 
And after a while of everyone being depressed, Floyd says, wait a minute. If Seth Taylor had took the railroad terminal in May Day, we would have been like Mount Tylet, with all its big town problems and traffic and noise. May Day wouldn't be the nice place it is today. So Seth Taylor wasn't such a bad guy after all. He made us what we are. So they all go out and start the ceremony up again. And Aunt D changes her speech to put Seth Taylor in a good light even after what he did. And at the next committee meeting, Floyd suggests a statue of Daniel Lawson to keep the first statue from getting lonesome. We'll see you next week for episode 24.